Hey guys, it's Jackie and I got my second Imperfect Foods box today. I'm gonna share with you what I got and give you a review now that this is my second time using it and I got through all of the food from my first box. Bottom line, I really like it and I definitely think if food delivery is something that you enjoy, you should check it out. I have a referral code where both of us will receive credits on our next boxes. I actually had a $10 referral code credit that I used on this box. And even though I really love grocery shopping and getting stuff on sale and when it's seasonal, I do think that they offer some really unique and fun items and I got more of that today. I'll share with you the breakdown of what my cost was and what I got today. And then at the end, I'll also share with you guys some ways that I use the food and the produce I got in the first box. And overall, just a demonstration of the quality of the food because I was able to use it in lots of different ways and many recipes and I really liked it. I got quinoa. It was $2.99 for a bag of organic quinoa and I have a hard time finding this consistently at Aldi so I thought it was a nice time to purchase this. I also got this Nourish Bowl. It's a fresh veggie noodle. It has spicy Thai um, seasonings with it. This is actually $3.99 so a little more than I normally would spend. The whole entire bowl is only 200 calories and I as an intermittent faster have what's called a down day where I only eat 500 calories and then I eat more the next day. You can look up my other videos if you want more information on that but this is $3.99 and I plan to have it for a down day but you can see pretty hefty portion and the seasonings in there so I look forward to trying that. I had never used shallots before and I ordered these because last time I thought they were really good although this one looks kind of gross to me. Um, I didn't have any issues really last time. That one will have to be trimmed quite a bit to use it and I'll have to use it pretty soon here. This one looks pretty good. Looks like that one lost maybe it's protective coating. Those were $1.35 for the shallots. I got red peppers. Uh, it's funny, they're totally different size and shape. These are $1.75 and they look really good. Definitely a better price than what red peppers are in store right now. Oh, this is interesting. So I ordered two bags of creamer potatoes because I loved the ones that I got last time. They're 99 cents a piece, so it was $1.99 for both of these. Um, they're de definitely way different looking than the last creamer potatoes I got. Last ones were white. These have like a reddish, pinkish look to them. I think creamer potatoes are, it just means they're an immature potato, like they didn't fully grow, so I guess it really doesn't matter what kind, but these look like maybe they're red skin creamer potatoes. We'll still eat them, but they're not the same ones I had before, so I'm a little disappointed by that, I guess. I got two green peppers for $1.50. These look pretty good to me. So last time I had said I wished I would have bought a papaya, and I bought one this time. This was actually $3.50. I figured it was worth splurging on this and my Thai basil bowl because they were both basically free with my referral. But I've never had a papaya, and I look forward to opening this and sharing it with my kids. You can see in my box I have some loose blood oranges. I did order um, a pound of them for $1.75, so they just came loose like this. So I have four of them, and these were $1.75 for the three of these. I can basically buy it for the same price at the store. And finally I got, these beets were $1.99, they're love beets, they're already cooked and ready to eat. I actually really like beets in salad. When I saw this as an option I thought it'd be worth trying, I'll probably slice these up for a salad or just to eat because I like soft beets. So here's everything I got. Obviously I didn't get the extra large box this time. I think this might have been a small, but I picked everything I wanted this time. I went through and changed it all because I knew what we would eat, what we didn't have, what we needed. Last time, the first time, I let them suggest a lot of things because I kind of wanted to see what they thought of as their process. But anyways, all together, this would have cost me $27.56 for all of the produce, the Nourish Bowl, the beads, the quinoa, everything. However, with my $10 credit that saved me a little over $10 because of the tax difference. So with the $4.99 delivery charge, my grand total was $17.29. So I feel like that was a really good value. And if you think, wow, of course it's a good value with your $10 savings, guess what? We can both get one again if you use my referral code and try it out yourself. You can get it. We both earn a referral credit on your very first box. I still am very impressed with Imperfect Foods and if you like having meal delivery, I definitely am someone that likes to go grocery shopping so this isn't something I will do weekly. I like to see what's on sale, I like to put my hands on the produce but I think for the most part they do a really good job of picking high quality stuff and for $17 I feel like I got a great value. 
I have a referral link below. I don't have an affiliate with them, so they're not sponsoring or paying me to do this. I did this out of my own curiosity. However, anyone, including yourself, once you sign up, if you share it with your friends, you can earn credits by getting other people to try it out. I highly recommend it. Now I'll share with you some of the ways I use my first produce box. I'm using one of my Honeycrisp apples and one of the giant carrots. I'm grating them and they're going into a bread. We're making apple carrot bread. It's like a sweet breakfast bread. And that's one of the ways I'm using this. I'm gonna grate them and get them into the batter. So here is my 11 year old. She just cut one of the giant oranges. How is it? Really good. Good. We A lot of the fruit we've just eaten on its own, like the pears I sliced yesterday. I eat the apples. I would never know that they're gluten-free. I mean, now that I know it, I know it, but if someone set a bowl of these out in front of me, I wouldn't be like, what's wrong with these pretzels? And the honey mustard flavoring is really good. So I definitely think they're really yummy. I just wouldn't pay $3.50 for a four and a half ounce bag, but I'm definitely enjoying the ones that I did get. Okay, so I am trying this Nourish Bowl that I just got in my Imperfect Food Box yesterday. I wanted to try it before I did this video, got it out. And here it is. For 200 calories, I feel like this is a nice size bowl. The sauce is delicious. The noodles are made of vegetable. And it's a super convenient thing. I definitely would eat this again. It's not my favorite food in the world, but for 200 calories. I just cooked it according to directions and then you top it with the coconut and it's ready to eat. So it's really simple, four minutes. I would definitely add this to a future box. If you're interested in seeing what was in my very first box, you can check out that video here. Don't forget to use my referral code and try this out. I think it's definitely worth it and a high value. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.